It was a fantastic day of uh, trade today in the markets with the Nifty uh, gaining a staggering 569 points and uh, Sensex ending the day almost 921 points higher, 1921 points higher. Uh, this was the largest ever gain that we have seen in almost a decade. Uh, the highest gain we have seen was uh, 2,111 points on the Sensex. That was when the UPA2 was elected uh, way back in 2009. So what we seen today of 921 points rally was the second largest ever in the history of the Indian stock markets. So what led today's uh, rally of 569 points on the Nifty? It was clearly uh, the uh, cut in corporate tax and a slew of other measures announced by the Finance Minister uh, Nirmala Sitharaman. But clearly what took markets uh, higher and a, a substantial rally was uh, the cut in corporate tax wherein the effective corporate tax including surcharge was reduced to almost 25.17% uh, as against the 30% corporate tax currently uh, and, and uh, exclusive of surcharge. Uh, so it's almost a 5% reduction in the corporate tax rates and depending on which corporate you are and how much corporate tax you pay, uh, stocks gained accordingly. For example, stocks like HDFC Bank, ICICI Bank, which pay uh, LNT, Hindustan Unilever, which pay significant amount of corporate tax, their shares really rallied. I mean, a 9 to 10% rally in the stock of HDFC Bank uh, was phenomenal. Uh, but clearly, the largest gainers today was uh, the auto pack. Aisha Motors gaining between 13 and 14% was fantastic. You had uh, Mahindra and Mahindra, you had Hero Motor Corp, which was one of the top five nifty gainers in trade today. So it was really the banking and the auto pack that led uh, 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 stocks in trade today, again, gainers in trade today. Uh, the auto stock also led uh, gainers because largely markets were still anticipating uh, that the uh, GST council meeting, which will end in the next few hours, will recommend a cut in the GST rates for auto sector. But really, today's uh, rally was a fantastic rally and uh, we don't see 569 points uh, rally. We haven't seen that kind of rally in stocks in the last one decade. So this was the second biggest uh, gains uh, for the Sensex and the Nifty uh, on record. It was the second highest gains after 2000 and uh, historic gains ever that we have seen. And the second highest we have seen of gains for the Sensex and the Nifty after and the biggest after 2009. So really it was a great day of trade everything rallied most of the stocks gaining uh, in the mid cap space also we saw stocks gaining four and five percent the rupee gained as well the one uh, stock that was really weak in tr trade today was uh, z uh, z entertainment and z entertainment fell uh, largely because uh, of uh, worries over the promoters paying back their debt they have a deadline until september 30 uh, wherein they need to pay back the mutual fund investors and so they quickly need to uh, still sell their stake in uh, many infrastructure companies to pay back the debt or else reduce their holding in Z Entertainment and pay back the mutual funds. Uh, there are reports that uh, some mutual funds have agreed to uh, a delayed payment and allow the promoters of Z Entertainment a further period to uh, pay back the debt whereas some mutual funds have stuck to that September 30th uh, date. In case uh, the September 30th day stands fixed, we might see further pressure in the selling of uh, uh, on the stock of Z Entertainment. So overall, it was a classic day of trade, except few stocks like Z Entertainment and Power Grid. We saw a significant rally and we expect the momentum to continue into the next week. It was really a blockbuster Friday today and uh, markets are likely to carry on uh, uh, gaining probably into the next week.